Winter is a fantastic season to spend time in the Japanese countryside. Join me today as I take part in some winter activities and local events. Minasan, konnichiwa, skushi toke, yokoso. Today we are starting the video from Nango Ski Mountain in Fukushima. It's beautiful here, absolutely incredible. Anyway, today I'll be showing you a few snowy treats that you can enjoy in Fukushima. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. So not only is this ski mountain beautiful, but actually driving on the way here is also so beautiful. It's totally a winter wonderland. It's really fun watching people go up and down on the ski lift. I want to do it, but I'm not, I'm not skiing today, but I still want to go on the ski lift. <laughs> so this poster is unlike anything I've seen before. Basically, they're saying that they're far away from a motorway, they're far away from a train station. And so as a result, they're not getting as many patrons as they would like to. And that actually, this ski resort is quite close to having to close. So this is more of a reason why you should come and check this place out. It is absolutely lovely. So it's a real shame for it to get to the point where they would have to close. But I think this is very, very clever marketing. I really appreciate the honesty. After skiing, you can head to this quiet onsen in Minami Aizu. This onsen is absolutely lovely because you are surrounded by the snowy mountains and there's even snow right in front of me here, but it feels so warm. I'm not even in it and I can feel the heat heading towards me. And I think it's just a lovely, relaxing environment. So if you're looking to take a break from the cold, snowy conditions, I think this is going to be a great place to go. So this onsen has a very typical onsen smell. The water is 45 degrees and it's a very interesting color. It's almost orange, so it's quite charming. And yeah, I think this is a perfect place to go to escape the cold. This onsen contains a lot of iron, giving both the rocks and water a unique red color. And inside they serve food. They have a lovely relaxation seating area and the onsens themselves are absolutely wonderful. They're very hot and lovely. And as well as having an outdoor one, they also have an indoor one too. So everything you could possibly want from an onsen is right here. I definitely recommend you come and check it out for yourself. Just driving around this area was lovely. The scenery was stunning and we were even lucky enough to see some wild snow monkeys. Kawaii. We are currently in Hinoe Matamura, which is a small village in Fukushima Prefecture. And when I say small, I am not joking. There is only 486 people that live here. So it is definitely small, but it is so beautiful and picturesque. I couldn't imagine I would ever see such a cute town nestled between mountains. It's so stunningly beautiful here. And uh, maybe I should increase the population by moving here because it is so peaceful. This view is sensational. Wow. Such a beautiful day as well. This is gorgeous. So this shrine behind me is particularly interesting. So if you want to end a bad relationship with someone, you should leave a pair of scissors. If you want to fix a relationship with someone or have a good relationship, bring a useless pair of scissors. So they should be rusty or you can bind them with some string or wire. And then finally, if you just want to wish for anything at all, you should bring a bowl. So there's a lot going on here and I'm quite surprised to see so many pairs of scissors. So people probably want to end a lot of bad relationships. So this magnificent wooden building behind me is actually a kabuki theater. And three times a year, they still put on kabuki shows. And right in front of me is actually where people would sit, which is kind of hard to believe at the moment since it's completely covered in snow. So I guess they probably wouldn't be putting on any performances at the moment. But three times a year, you can catch a kabuki show here and sit outside, basically up a mountain and enjoy the show. And honestly, that sounds like such an incredible experience. Just opposite Oze Hinoe Mata Onsen Ski Mountain, there is an onsen, a swimming pool, and many choices for food. 
We have some local food here. So this is hato, which is essentially mochi, but it's made with buckwheat flour and rice flour, as opposed to just rice flour on its own. And this here is a kroke with maitake and iyo. Both ingredients are from this area. So I'm super excited to try these. I hope it's delicious, but it smells delicious, so it must be. <laughs> Let's eat it. While I'm waiting for the croquet to cool down, I'm going to try some hatto. Let's do it. Itadakimasu. Mm, that is delicious. So first of all, it's actually warm. It's been warmed up. It's not as chewy as regular mochi is. Like you can bite into this pretty easily and you're not dealing with that kind of elasticity that you get with regular mochi. The outside is lovely too because it's got that crunchy outside. It's adding a bit more texture. All around, I would say that was a really good experience and it's completely delicious. The flavor is more roasted. It's very, very good. Mm. <laughs> The way hatto came about was because in the Edo era, powdered foods were actually banned to prevent people from eating too much. So then they decided to use buckwheat instead and thus hatto was born. And I'm glad that it was because it is so delicious. <laughs> Next, it's time to try the croquet. Mm. I love the texture of this. The inside is light and fluffy and the breadcrumbs on the outside add that crisp. I love eating croquet in Japan because it's totally ASMR with that crunch. <laughs> this is really delicious. The potato inside is really fluffy and the fish actually isn't very overpowering at all. It's a nice subtle hint of flavor, which is really nice. It makes it very easy to eat. One of my absolute favorite things about traveling around Japan is that you get to try so many different local dishes that you can't find in any other area. And I absolutely love that because I'm yet to find something that I don't like. I always find new delicious food. And it's interesting because whenever I go back home to Tokyo, I always think, oh gosh, I really want to eat this, but I'd have to travel to get it. <laughs> I'm currently at Koya no Yukimatsuri. So this is a small local snow festival. And even though it's small, you can see everybody is having so much fun. And there's actually quite a few things to do. So I'm going to be checking it out and showing you guys. I have the ultimate winter beverage here, which is Amazake. And I love it so much, but it does look incredibly hot. So I'm going to have to be careful while I drink this. Kanpai. Oh, it's lovely, but it is boiling hot. <laughs> it's quite creamy. I really like it. So we're going to do kanjiki. And I know I've had snowshoes on before, but I did them myself and I don't think I did a very good job. These are being done by a professional and they're quite tight, so I feel really safe in these. Kanjiki are Japanese snowshoes traditionally made from straw. They originated in the Jomon period. This is good. I feel safer walking on snow in these than I do in my regular shoes. I'm very clumsy, so these are very useful for me. <laughs> I was able to go deeper into the woods and learn about trees like Kuromoji. Oh, that smells so good. I'm really glad that I got to learn about some of the plants because I know nothing about plants so this is welcome knowledge for me <laughs> so I guess because of these snowshoes you can actually travel further into wooded areas and areas where there's a large amount of snow and like I said I'm so grateful for these snowshoes because otherwise I would have fallen many times by now definitely animal tracks so yeah I guess a deer has walked through here which I'm not surprised at because this area seems like it'd be the place that deers love. Deer loves. <laughs> it feels so soft. It's very cold though, so I am going to get up now. It was nice to get information from a friendly local guide. で、
作物をうちに持って行って食べてたという歴史があるんですね。南アイズの良さは何かっていうと、あるがままの自然と。This makeshift slope here is 150 meters, and since sledding has become my new hobby, obviously I have to try it. I am probably going to fall off and definitely going to scream. <笑>こ,これで足、これで。That was so much fun. There are tears coming out of my eyes, but that's because of the wind. Don't worry, I didn't cry. It didn't hurt. It was fun. That was so much fun. <laughs> This is so much fun, and I love that absolutely anyone can do it. Honestly, it's such a good experience. I really wish I could do this as a kid, but we don't have enough snow in London. So I'm glad that I finally got to try sledding, and I love it. Hey, hey, hey. That time, I did not fall down. I actually intentionally stopped myself at the end because I was so scared I was going to speed right into the back of a car that was parked there. So I had to intentionally stop myself. But it's a bit like driving. Once you start to feel it tilt to one side, you've kind of got to pull up from the other. This is my new winter hobby. Every winter, this is what I'm going to be doing. You know where to find me. After having fun in the snow, the best way to warm up is with a hot bowl of nabe. I have botan nabe, which is wild boar, and I've never had this before. I'm really excited to see if it tastes different to just normal pork. It smells incredible. Eat a deki mask. Mmm, mmm, what's you? It's thicker than normal pork, I think, and the texture is slightly different. It's a bit tougher, but I really like it. It's really good. <laughs> Mm, this is so good. I got it with miso. I 100% recommend you try it. It's much smokier than regular pork. It's delicious. Inonabe originated in 1908 and didn't get the name Botan Nabe until the Showa period. It's really nice to eat nabe outside in the cold. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I got this for free. <laughs> they were making it and they offered me some. So everybody here is super friendly. We had the chance to talk to the owner of Akasawa Onsen Ryokan. Sky san, I've been here for a long time. 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 ちょっとお客さんが減ってる感じがします。塩原はすぐ裏が合図、えー、南合図町、日の山とか、花見町とか、昭和村、金山町とか、えー、合図のとてもいいところがたくさんあります。スカイさんにはいろんなところを回っていただいて大変だったんですけれども、ここ本当にいいところなんで、ここの良さを世界に発信してもらって、多くの人がこの地区を通って、えー、塩原か、そして北栃木から、アイズを通って新潟とか、そしてまた東京に帰る、そんなことをしていただきたいと思って、今日来てもらいました。Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I have had so much fun here. I didn't know there were so many different activities you could do in the snow other than just skiing, but all of them were so much fun. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your favorite winter activity? Let me know, and I might even try it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.